like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars please give us verse 18 mark chapter 2 there is a glory that excels and the disciples of john and the pharisees and you know and they came on to him and said to him why do the disciples of john and of the pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not 19. and jesus said he's replying a question remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals structures systems keep that in mind so he was challenging Jesus's violation of a system this is the basis for this statement there is a methodology there is a way things were done and now they found out that Jesus was routing his system he was not conforming to what they were doing and they they were questioning his authority what gave you the audacity to come up with another formula we are used to this this is the ritual but now jesus we see you mentoring your disciples through another route and jesus is replying can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast 20. but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days 21. he says no man now listen he's buttressing on this point now no man also sewed a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine don't bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be marred but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings this his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wine skin he's saying that if you put wine skin i hope you know that the wine skin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of God comes for a while revival 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 people organize programs and for one or two weeks people feel spiritual they feel connected and one month later everyone has gone back to his ways the reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable the focus is never on the new wine he says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin you don't ask new wine to come something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine listen carefully wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems you have to understand this it's not only just symbolic of a man it's symbolic of methodologies and strategies that for every move of god there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it are we together now i shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the philistines god gave samson a revelation and he took the dry bone jaw bone of an ass 
and he killed the philistines with it as soon as he was done he was asked to throw it sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working you throw them because they will not be needed again although they are still working the bible never said the old wine skin were already torn it could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of god and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation a Jimmy shared that scripture powerfully here when it was time for them to experience the glory of God there were conditions he said sanctify yourself one day is not enough two days not enough three days not enough prepare yourself and even at that when they saw the glory they were preparing for they said Moses you go and just talk with God whatever he tells you tell us we will listen most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God listen is one thing to ask and continue to ask one of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people the weightiness of his presence it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wine skin and God says my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction this is not a demon this is not satan this is a spiritual reaction jesus is teaching us here so he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin then you must find out the structure when the glory of God was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the Old Testament at that time the tabernacle was a new wine skin so Bezalel and Aholiab had to receive from God the blueprint the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for are we together now they were never to be left to decide God come read your Bible God never comes until the people are prepared by his standards not by their desire not by their cry not by their hunger whenever God wants to come bringing his anointing his grace and all the possibilities contained in him there will be a requirement you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin we're talking about the glory of God here that there is a glory that excels but I'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms every old wine was once a new wine this is what I want you to know no old wine starts as old wine the tabernacle the law was once new wine the tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine but a day came when God said I'm connecting this story now they were used to the new wine they saw the glory that came with the tabernacle the ark of the covenant they saw the victories that it brought for them now Jesus appears and then they are saying Jesus if you are from God you must fit into this structure and he says I agree it was one a new wine skin but now I'm bringing in something do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing i hope you know god was the one who instituted their structure but god had left their structure once upon a time john was the new wine skin 
that was being used. The theology that John brought was the most current dealing of the spirit. John was in the wilderness and God was giving him mysteries. Until then, there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than John. Jesus himself testified that of all the prophets, no matter what they saw, nobody reached John's dimension of glory. But John was wise. When Jesus came, he said, Behold the Lamb. And John said, Look, I know that with respect to this, I have become an old wineskin. Let me decrease that he will increase. Are you seeing that technology? I decrease. This is the vessel that God is pouring his glory. And when you look up to him, then you are not ashamed. John departed and his disciples were offended. Because at a point they felt, John, what are you doing? You were shining. You were the person at the center stage. Your entire theology was what we built our lives on. And right now you are asking us, are you trying to say all you have taught us was error? And John was trying to say, no, I'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come. And my structure cannot hold that glory. I was a forerunner. Now that that glory has come, follow that glory. Amazing that John himself didn't follow the glory. And not even him was spared. John died, whereas others were being resurrected. There was a provision in a new structure that John could not experience. He died in offense. He died in pain. He died hating Jesus. He died probing the messiahship of Jesus. The man who ordained Jesus to ministry. The man who caused that his heavens were open. He said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah or should we seek for another? Notice that every time they fought Jesus, they didn't just fight the miracles. They fought the wineskin, the structure. Why are you coming with another pattern? They caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught, you don't discuss, you stone her and immediately Jesus looks at them and creates another order. Listen to me. You cannot put new wineskin, new revelation, new anointing, new glory, old structure that does not have the provision to receive it. The question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way, let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds. That's why we're here tonight. If it was that easy, many people will carry the glory that excels. The hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival. It is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon. That's why we are here. We can, we can shout and jump and say, greater anointing, oh God. Greater this. Do you know? That the level of living is not the same every level of glory has its rules and conditions this is it so we may be born again but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules because of the level God has taken you he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth no other person it may not make sense but that is the price to keep the wineskin new 